Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Silver Santa. It's been on about three weeks or four weeks since I posted. Uh, I got that summer flu or summer, summer cold. I haven't been feeling too well, but about two weeks ago I went ahead and went through some stuff and it was an uneventful week. Last week I really didn't do much. Uh, stayed in bed a lot. Uh, trying to get over this thing. It's still in my lungs. But I'll show you the wrap up of about four days worth of hunts. Um, nothing real eventful, but we'll just show you through and let you see the things that I found. Uh, we'll start over here. These are my AU, what I call the silver pennies for those of you that have watched in the past. Um, they're my pennies that will go all the way from 1960 up to about 81 that are nice red in color, uh, almost uncirculated. We do have the three bicentennial scents that I did find that are almost AU as well. Right underneath that, we do have the uh, Canadian nickels. I have four of those. We found three silver dimes, all 1964. Nothing real spectacular there, but hey, silver, silver. We went through a couple rolls of halves. We didn't go through a box, but I did pick up a couple rolls here and there, and we were able to pick up a 40% half 1968 and two 90% 1964s. Actually, that's a 67, not a 64. So we got two 40%ers and a 90%er. And then we also found a 2016 D that we need to check in our book only because it does look pretty nice. Over here, we found some foreign coins. Um, they were mixed in with dimes, quarters, nickels, different denominations. And then right here, we did find two older nickels, a 1902 victory nickel. But no key date anything real spectacular we did find a buffalo nickel no date it is not a high raised mound so it's not a 13 pretty well born but it is a buffalo we found two rows of wheat pennies coming back through always fun to find the wheaties and then right here we have our war nickels we managed to find seven one of those of which looks to be a metal detecting fine and then if you look above it there is an s mint mark but i was thinking at first maybe it was a henning nickel uh, because it is a 1944 however my son and i both were able to manage to see an s there so it is not a henning nickel um here we have two nickels that need to be checked in our books. Above it you have four 1939 nickels. The 38 and 39s I keep separated. And then we have two rows of the 1940 through 1959 nickels. Anything that is that of those dates, we keep those. And we put them back and then we trade them in for silver later on. So it just gives us a way to save money but at a short or short amounts and eventually have enough to buy a lot of silver. Our fines for the week, I'll get to that later. But let's go this way. These are quarters that we found. Um, we have some that need checked in the books. As you can see, that 1972 quarter right here almost looks uncirculated. Um, we'll have to check that in the book as well as 65 and 74. Right underneath, we have two proof quarters that need checked. And then we have some more of the almost uncirculated that we want to check. We do find... We found one here, and we found the one here of the colorized quarters. Now, obviously, we found this one first. He wrapped it up that day at the end, and he brought it back out to do the wrap-up. 
here's our stack of Canadian pennies that we found. They're all Canadian cents. We didn't find too much in the odd, weird pennies from different countries. Um, just a lot of the Canadian pennies, which is fine with us because that's what we like. We managed to pull four rolls with enders of either wheat cents or farm. As you all know, I don't open those. We keep them and we open them on another time. I've never done a full video of it. Uh, with those, I want to do a full roll or a full box where I just open it in front of the camera so everybody can see what's inside those rolls or what those dates might be. So for our very last thing that we have, it was the find of the week. First one we have, we managed to find a W mint mark quarter. And it is our very first. However, it was in circulation. As you can see, it's not mint state. But we will take it. We've been hunting for the W's, and it's just as hard to find it here in Pennsylvania. But this is our first one and only one that we have at this time. So, that is Silver Santa. Sorry, it's been over a couple of weeks. Hopefully we'll get back into it and get you a video a week. Um, that's going to be a wrap up. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And you all have a good week. Thank you.